649 on your Tuesday morning. It's time now for the morning rush. We're seeing video of the moments Albuquerque police caught up with the team. They say stole a bait car. APD says a 14 year old boy stole a bait car over the weekend with a 13 year old and 11 year old in the car with him before picking up his 15 year old girlfriend and a, and a five year old. The 14 and 15 year old were arrested on several felony charges. A Rio Rancho man has now been charged with murder after police say that he shot his wife during an argument. Police say 45 year old John Vallejos was arguing with his wife when he pulled out a gun and threatened to shoot himself. Investigators say he then turned the gun on his wife, where they say Vallejos told them the gun went off. Vallejos was booked into the Sandoval County Detention Center. The Department of Justice is filing charges against an Isleta Pueblo woman accused of murdering her two young sons with a bread knife. 32-year-old Mariah Zuni is accused of killing her 5-year-old and 9-month-old sons in their home. Zuni will remain in custody until her detention hearing tomorrow. And we are looking at a very active weather day once again. More widespread showers and thunderstorms are likely to develop this afternoon in our lower elevations. That includes more hail and grapple, high elevation snow before drier and warmer weather arrives later this week. Significantly improved microneedle technology is now available to scientists at Sandia National Labs. Microneedles, they can be used to help medical personnel to distinguish between bacterial and viral infections faster, getting patients treated at the earliest stage possible. The Middle Rio Grande Conservancy District says the snowpack is still catching up to last year's levels. The Conservancy District says at the beginning of this month, the snowpack was lower than it was this time last year. Officials say water predictions are still early in the season and they will have a better look at the summer months with their May measurements. We're also now getting a look at what's being called Santa Fe's first safe outdoor space. The Christ Lutheran Church parking lot went from an empty space to this first of a kind called Pallet Village. Now the first group of residents will move in next month with 24-7 security. Zoe. Our Metro Threat Index for today is at a 5 out of 10 as we are expecting afternoon showers and thunderstorms to develop again and may include some hail and some gusty winds. So make sure you are prepared and keep an umbrella in your car this afternoon. High school students are helping low income families pay for their laundry. Students from Hope, Hope Christian High School are getting involved with national nonprofit Laundry Love. Last month, students helped pay for about 40 people's laundry. So far, they've helped about 270 people. Well, the work of one local organization is being celebrated by National Advocates for Cancer Prevention. UNM's Comadre a Comadre program, it connects cancer survivors with patients to support them in their screening, diagnosis, and treatment. Comadre received a $25,000 grant from the Prevent Cancer Foundation last year to continue their work. Zoe. Now let's get a look at that morning drive. Maps are nice and clear, no major accidents or slowdowns. And here's a look at the big eye. It's definitely picking up. You might want to give yourself an extra minute or two on the roads, but really no accidents or traffic to worry about. California's Oakland Zoo shows is uh, rather is now sharing footage of their tiger cub Lily bringing out her inner kitten. That's when play when playfully pawing out a feather. Lily was rescued with multiple bone fractures earlier this month. Zoo said the cub would be moved to a licensed facility specializing in big cat care once she is fully recovered. Time now for the five facts. At number five, the work of one local organization is being celebrated by National Advocates for Cancer Prevention. UNM's Comadre a Comadre program connects cancer survivors with patients to support them in their screening diagnosis and treatment. The program recently received $25,000 grant from the Preventative Cancer Foundation to continue their work. It was founded by six Latina breast cancer survivors and their families. And number four, New Mexico has been ranked as the best in the country now for election performance. A prestigious program created by MIT measured the 2022 midterm election all across the U.S. using various indicators. That's like voter registration rates, security protocols, ballot rejection rates, turnout rate, and more. The point of the program is to see how policies are implemented and its impact on a fair and free election. Now, once all tabulations were complete, the program's metrics showed New Mexico was ranked number one overall. And at number three, we're looking at more storms on the way this afternoon. Potentially a few more rumbles of thunder compared to yesterday. Maybe a little bit more hail and chances for grapple. We've been saying it all morning long, but get ready for it this afternoon before drier and warmer weather arrives later this week. And number two, irrigation season is just beginning in the middle. Rio Grande Conservancy District says that the snowpack is still catching up to last year's levels. The Conservancy District says at the beginning of this month, the snowpack was lower than it was at this time last year. But they say that it's been improving with recent winter weather, including snow that moved into the state yesterday. 
Uh, officials say that the water predictions are still early in the season and they're going to have a better look at the summer months with their May measurements. And a number one new video shows the moment Albuquerque police caught up with the team. They say stole a bait car and then took it on a joyride with kids in the car. APD says a 14 year old boy stole a bait car over the weekend. A 13 year old and 11 year old were also in the car. They say the teen then picked up his 15 year old girlfriend and a five year old boy. Police say the teen used a screwdriver to steal the car and that is he learned how to do that on social media. The 14 year old and 15 year old are have both been arrested and are facing several felony charges, including contributing to the delinquency of a minor and child abuse.